right, we got our refrigerator covered. Put it in the vacuum, brought it up with nitrogen so that we don't suck air in when we open the tubing. actually recording this just because I want to show one of the new techs in our company and a few other guys how I do this. So that's why I've got my phone on the stand there. I usually Whoa. don't. Whoa. Get to do a I'm lot of fun you. training. <laughs> oh, you're fine. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Some people cut these. I actually prefer to debraze the suction on the high side. Normally, you don't want to debraze a filter dryer because you're going to introduce contaminants into the system. But in this case, since we cut the end open and we were flowing nitrogen through it, it's extremely unlikely to put anything that isn't supposed to be in there in there. mat to protect the floor. Let's pull this nitrogen off. Apply the breeze from the opposite side of the tube if you're heating. The flame will go green when it starts melting.
ready to go, but first I like to blow out this nitrogen. So debrazed it and then did the compressor, which gave us a chance to cool off. Access fittings. This is going to blow through backwards and out and we're looking for dust and other contaminants and I find it works best if you cap it in order to nothing too major sometimes you'll get oil Low side's harder to do because you can only go through the capillary tube. I don't like trying to push oil through the evaporator into the tube. So you kind of got to cap the suction line with your finger to let it build pressure and then release it, which will allow it to carry that through. And that's pretty good. I've had where it gurgles and you get a lot of oil and dust and gunk. That one's actually not too bad. No, I'm trying to set the flow regulators. For just a little bit, you can kind of see that little marble. And that's going to trickle nitrogen through the system as we put the new components in. So first, while we got it out and about, let's clean these off. I guess I can split the new piece of that. these pinched a little bit and it's just easier to tan them first and then you're sure that they're not going to do anything funky. cooled down enough that we can put this on here, which is going to be useful here in a second with the nitrogen. Nitrogen's flowing through the cap tube.
and then flowing back through the suction line. So it's going to be coming in on the low side of the compressor. It's in, it's fluxed, it's clean. We have a piece of regular braze, and we have a piece of high flow. And the players are reeked. Keep it from the front, bend the braze over and apply the braze to the back. And then if you notice, I don't know if you can see it that well. We have nitrogen coming out through here, which means it isn't clogged. So now we can close this. And now do this guy. Since I debrazed it, there's braze on there that puts it a little out around, so you gotta kinda heat both the tube that's going into and the tube you're putting in there to warm it. And then it'll slip in. Then Now that lets us check up here, which we are building pressure. So that means that didn't clog. Um, I put the filter dryer down here because I like to debraze this because I feel like it fits in better. Coming up. 
So the last thing left to do is this. I usually cut that off. Now we let the whole thing cool down and then we're going to pressure test it.